it's a Tuesday morning, time to spend some time with our canine friends. Bob's been getting high fives and treats and uh, we're going to teach him a new trick today and hopefully something that you can learn and uh, that can be useful to you back at home. Ansi Minard joins us, our trainer. How are you, Ansi? I'm well, yourself. Fantastic. How's our little Bob doing after the dance competition? Has he, you know, gotten the good massages <laughs> to get the muscles all nice and relaxed again? Oh yeah, absolutely. He's such a gentle soul, he doesn't even show off about oh, it. Oh, you know? <laughs> what a legend, Bobby. So what, what are we learning today? What are we going to teach Bob? Doggy doors. Doggy doors? Doggy doors. Those are very useful, right? Because then you don't have... Exceedingly useful, particularly yeah. in training for potty training, puppies as well. Ah. Because then you don't have to get up at 5.30am to open the door. Bobby's scratching <laughs> on the door. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. You'll find people who, who have installed um, doggy doors will be able to give their puppy or dog freedom of the house a lot sooner yes. during the house training okay. than people who have not installed doggy doors because oh. humans are not consistent. Oh, so that's our problem, Bobby. Accidents will Sorry, happen. Sorry, Bob. Sorry. Okay. So, how do we begin this training? How do we begin to teach Bob to use the doggy door? Right. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we've done sort of a makeshift number over there. Okay. There we go. Um, and we first, what you're going to do is you're going to make this area a happy place. Okay. And you're going to make it a happy place because it's got treats and things around Ooh, it. There we go. Treats. Oh, good yeah, place. Good place. Good. He likes yes. it. He likes the look of it, and he's smelling so, it too. Then uh -huh. the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tape up this part of the door and keep it open for a while. Yes. And then lure doggy. You can do it, Bobby. He's already steady. Hey, where's your good? Where's your good? You can kind of see the initial apprehension to it. So he knows the only way is through the doggy door and he gets in. Yes. So you're going to you're going to try and work it so that Bobby is jumping in and out. There we Good go, dog. Bobby. So you might do this for two or three days, yes. maybe a week, however long it takes for your dog to get comfortable with that. Yes. Then the next phase is going to be, come back to this way, here we go, Whew. is to let the dog start feeling the door on their back. Let okay. me just explain how. All right, so, so you're going to open up slightly, let me put a treat through there. So I haven't opened all the way. Yes. So he knows it's there and he yeah. knows he's done this In fact, before. I'm going to open it up so I can get him this way. Okay. Come Bobs. Here we go. And then he's gonna go, go. trusting go. himself. On, Trust yourself, Bobby. Come Trust yourself. You, on, can Bobby. you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. What a ledge. Okay, so now we're going to encourage Bobby through and let the flap rest on his head. Okay, alright. Good dog, Bobby. And so we're ah. going to let him encourage him through until he's no longer afraid of this flap resting on yeah. him as he comes through. For the first time just now, okay. he actually used his paw to push the flap forward. I saw that. Yes, some, yeah, some so that, dogs that's will, progress. But they'll, they'll quickly learn that doesn't really work because as they use their paw, it'll come back and hit them in the face. <laughs> oh, so they've got to go all the way with the head. So you kind of want to encourage the head through ah, first. I see. <laughs> So there what you go. can do now is you hold it up a bit. Keep so up. a lot of practice and patience, of course. A lot of patience. Here and then go. as Here he comes go. through, drop the flap again so he can feel it on his back. Uh -huh. What you don't want to do in the early stages of training <gasps> is allow this flap to hit him in the face. Oh, okay, because that would stages. totally scare him off and he'd definitely. never do it again. You've gone backwards huge, huge amounts of steps. Right. Now, is when, there a you've last got, step? When, you, when you've got that stage done, yes. you want to bring out something he really, really likes. <laughs> and then what this will do... Where's Bobby? Where's Bobby? Where's Bobby? Yes! Whoa. Good job, Bobby! You really took the whole door with him, man. <laughs> come well on, done, Bobs, Bob. Come back. Come okay. on, Bobby, kids. Yeah, he's a good dog. Yay! <laughs> bring it back. Yay! Good boy. Nice one, Bobby. And then so obviously practicing that over and over. Consistency is key. You just want to practice key. it, yeah. 100%. Lovely. Ansi, thank you very, very much. You're ever so welcome. <laughs> okay, all right, you, you can have that. You can have that, Bob. Enjoy your little toy there. Fantastic. Now, our friends at Bobtail are giving you the chance to win uh, a beautiful prize, a Land Rover Defender 110, as well as a share in one million rands worth of family adventures. All you have to do is go to your nearest pick and pay and buy a participating pack of promotional uh, Bobtail dry uh, dog food, and then SMS the last four digits of the barcode to 40511, and that'll enter you into the car. Competition. Happy training. Oh, Bobby Big. Who's wait. got nothing on Bob? Bobtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs. Yeah.